This is the Membrane Bubble Lab. In this lab, you compare the properties of a cell membrane to those of a bubble, and you just need some simple ingredients to set it up. You'll need some water, some dish soap, corn syrup, some light thread, four straws, and a large shallow tray to put the solution in. It's very easy to make the solution with the water, dish soap, and corn syrup. First, just fill a beaker to 900 milliliters of water, and then keep adding dish soap until you get up to 1,000 milliliters. After that, you need about 25 milliliters of corn syrup. You can just slowly pour that in. And then take about 20 to 30 seconds to really mix it together. After that, just pour it in your bin and you're ready to make a square out of straws. To do this, just take one of those bendy straws and find the smaller end, kind of collapse it in on itself, and then take the longer end of another one and just fit them together. Just repeat this step and continue connecting them together until you have one complete square. Now it's time to make a circle out of a really light thread, and it does work best if you have a thread that is pretty light. To do this, just find some sort of container, and you're going to wrap it around and tie a knot. And then once you're done, just cut off the excess string. And the size of the diameter should be anywhere from like one and a half inches, maybe up to three, and that should work just fine. All right, so now on to the fun part where we get to demonstrate all these different properties of the cell membrane by using our bubble solution. First, just make the membrane and observe it. You can see all these colors that are swirling around, just showing that a membrane can also move around. You can show a membrane is flexible just by moving it straight up and down, and you'll see it bending in both directions here. Another fun way to do this is to actually rock it back and forth and you'll see that it will go in both directions at the same time. By dipping your finger in the solution, you can demonstrate that materials can actually pass right across the membrane without breaking it. It's also fun to dip your entire hand in the solution and pass that directly through the membrane. You can make a large bubble with a straw by continuously blowing into it and then go inside the bubble and blow smaller ones to show that a cell has smaller membrane-bound organelles inside of it. In order to show that cells can communicate with other cells next to them, you can again start with one of those larger bubbles but continuously blow into the straw as you exit the bubble and you'll see a tunnel form between the bubble and your straw. You can use a string to demonstrate how the membrane is important for cell replication. So if you make a bubble and pull it through the bottom, you'll split it into two. And then you can repeat this over and over and show how you can make more and more bubbles or more and more cells through this process. I always like to save the protein channels ones for last because this is my all time favorite. So if you use that circle that you made out of string and put it on the surface of the membrane, you can see if you poke it with a pencil, it can just float around as an open circle or like a protein channel that allows passage of material into or out of the cell. 